Lesson 8 is titled Perimeter. In Lesson 7 we learned about linear measure or measuring line segments. And when you measure perimeter, you're measuring the distance around an object. And basically what you do is you add up the different segments or sections and get your total distance around that object. So when you're thinking of perimeter, that's the most important thing to remember is that perimeter equals or means distance around. So that's a very, very important thing to keep in mind. You'll see perimeter in this math class all throughout the year and, and in subsequent math classes that you take later on. You'll learn about perimeter and you'll need to remember that perimeter means distance around an object. Now they have that activity on page 35 that you can do. You could walk around the perimeter of your schoolroom that you use to do your CD lessons. You could walk around your house, the perimeter of your house. Count the number of footsteps that it takes to go around the house and that would equal the perimeter or the distance around your house. So do that activity there on page 35 and then turn the CD back on and let's do some problems dealing with perimeter. Okay, so the problems that we're going to do, we're going to figure out the perimeter of each shape. Okay, this first shape that I have there is a square, and it has a side of length 13 millimeters. Now, what do you know about a square? Maybe you already know that a square, all the sides are the same length. So if you know the length of one of the sides, you know the length of all of them. And so we could do a multiplication problem here if we're trying to figure out the perimeter, because perimeter means distance around. And so we have 13 millimeters and then we have four sides that are all 13 millimeters so we can just multiply by four. Three times four is two, carry one, 52. Now remember whenever we're dealing with measurements we have to write our units down too. The number means nothing without the units. That's half the problem. And so when you're grading your work, grading your tests, you should do half credit, half for the number half for the units. And so the perimeter or the distance around that square is 13 millimeters. If you're still confused about perimeter, think about this. Just remember, perimeter means distance around. So see this red dot that I just drew there on the bottom right corner of that square? Let's just travel around this square. We go up 13 millimeters. Then there's another 13, so that we have 26. Another 13 is 39. And then the final 13 back to the dot. We've traveled around the perimeter of that square, and we've traveled 52 millimeters. Look at this rectangle that we have for practice problem B. 18 centimeters long, 10 centimeters wide. Remember, perimeter means distance around. Think about what you know about a rectangle. It has two pairs of sides that are the same length. So this side must be 18 and this side must be 10. Now there's a couple of things we can do here. We could add the two 18's together and get 36. Add the two 10's together and get 20. Or we can think of distance around and we could start, let's use our red little dot again and just move around the perimeter of this rectangle. We go 10 and then we add another 18. So 10 plus 18 is 28. Then we add another 10. So that would be 38. And then we add a final 18. So we have 38 plus 18. And so let's just go ahead and add those two together. Let's write those down. 38 and 18. And we have 8 plus 8 is 16, carry 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 5. 56, don't forget the units, centimeters. 56 centimeters is the perimeter of that rectangle. Now, there's just different ways of writing down the answer to this problem or, or working out the solution to these perimeter problems. I've shown you one way there how you can just walk kind of walk around the perimeter of that rectangle and add the numbers up as you go. If you need to write more numbers down than that, if you need to show more work to think about it better, then just add the length of each side together. You can just write 10 plus 
18 plus 10 plus 18. Just walk around the perimeter, adding each segment at a time. And then you could add in pairs. 10 plus 18 is 28. And then 10 plus 18 again is 28. And then add those two together, and that equals 56. So however you want to do that, there's more than one way to solve these problems. If one method makes more sense to you than another, then, then use that method. Look at practice problem C. We're trying to find the perimeter. That's a hexagon there. My drawing's not perfect, but let's pretend like each segment of that hexagon is the same length. They're all two centimeters long. Hexagons have six sides. You could count the sides up if you wanted to, and you see there's six sides. So let's just do a multiplication problem here. Six sides, they're all two centimeters. So we can just say 6 times 2 is 12. And we can add them all up, too, if we want to. We can go around the perimeter. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 12. But it's just easier, since they're all the same length, just to do a multiplication. 6 times 2 is 12. We have to write our units to complete the solution. 12 centimeters is our answer. Now look at this problem, problem D. Let's pretend like that's an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle that has all the sides are the same length. So all three sides for that triangle are three meters long. And these aren't to scale or anything. And what that means is that if, if I really wanted to draw a triangle that had three meter sides, it would be bigger than our board here. So we just I'm just writing those units three meters just for you to have a little bit different units to work with. So each side is the same length. There's three of them, so we would just do three times three is nine meters. That's the perimeter of that equilateral triangle. Think about the word equilateral. Equi, that means equal. Lateral, lateral means side, so equal sided triangle. Let's do one more. E. Now that's a trapezoid. That shape, we call that a trapezoid. has two sides that are the same length and then two sides that are different lengths, that are parallel to each other. So there's a 21 meter and a 16 meter side. I didn't put units on next to all the numbers. I just put them next to the 21 and we'll assume that all the other ones are meters as well. So we have a 21 meter, a 16 meter, and then two equal sides that are 9 meters long. So let's just think about this. Let's do some addition here. We have the two 9 meter sides. 9 plus 9, we know that's 18, so let's just write 18 down. And then we have the 21 and the 16 meter side. And so let's just add in pairs, working from left to right. 18 plus 21, that would be equal to 39. And let's add 16 to that. 39 plus 16. Now, if you need to write that down vertically, by all means do that to help you think about how to solve that. Or if you can do that in your head, that's great. If you can do 39 plus 16 in your head, that would be excellent. But if you need to write it down like this, go ahead and do that. 9 plus 6 is 5. Carry 1. 3, 4, 5. 55 meters is the perimeter around that trapezoid. So remember that perimeter means distance around. Anytime you do a perimeter problem, make sure you write your numerical value as well as the units. Each one of those is half of the problem. Half for the number, half for the units. Okay, well that's all for lesson eight.